today on OCD223, we're going to sort some brass. Lots of brass. 2,000 once fired cases to be exact. You'll need a large flat surface with good lighting, as well as quite a few small containers in which to sort the various categories of cases. I like to use these old yogurt containers because one 8 ounce container holds the same number of shells as one case tray. There are three categories we will use to sort our once fired cases. The first two, the manufacturer, which you can think of as the brand of the case, and the year of production can be read directly off of the head stamp. Third, we need to determine the condition of the case. Is it safe? Is it free of major dents, dings, or splits in the case? Is it a top quality case that we can use for precision ammunition? Or is it something that we can use for planking or perhaps short range hunting? So the best way to inspect each case is we'll take a look at the head stamp. This is a Lake City 2012. And then flip it over and slowly turn it in your hands while keeping one of your fingers along the edge of the case mouth. That'll allow that finger to feel any damage to the edge, especially if there's any cracks starting to form. And with your eyes you can check the body, the shoulder, and the neck for any major dents. This one looks good, so we'll put that in with the 2012. Let's do another one here. This is a Lake City 2010. So again, you hold your finger along the case mouth and rotate it. Now I can see that this one has a pretty good dent right on the edge of the shoulder. So that's one we would want to put in the second category. This isn't too bad. It would probably press out when we do our full length sizing, but not completely. So we're going to set that aside as a second quality. It's safe to shoot, but it won't be a precision case. This one's a 2012. Edge feels good. There's a real teeny nick in the case neck and a really shallow dent on the body of the case. Neither of those should affect our accuracy, so that's a keeper. So we'll put that in with the 2012. Once you get the hang of it, you can inspect and sort 10 or 12 cases a minute. So even a large batch of brass like this can be sorted easily in an afternoon. Finally, I'd like to thank a company called Brass Bombers for offering once fired brass from a single manufacturer in this case Lake City. It saves me a lot of time because I don't have to separate the brass by whom it was manufactured first. All I have to do is sort it by the year and condition of each case. Also, almost all of this brass is from only two years, 2010 and 2012. So, lots of good places from which you can buy brass. Personally, I recommend Brass Bombers.